Nothing is better than when you get to count that baby and a foul. Good evening, everyone. It was the home opener and the GLIAC opener for the Northern Michigan basketball teams. The courts were polished, the nets were up, so get your popcorn and let's get straight to the action. We begin with the women's game as coach Troy Matson looks to come away with a win tonight against Walsh. Fourth quarter, Cavaliers up big and they would add to their lead as Rachel Trujillo hits the three as Walsh takes a 61-48 lead. The Wildcats would chip at the lead all night. Here's Chloe Tompkins all the way to the rack for NMU, but they were still down by 14 with less than eight minutes to go. Later off the missed three-pointer, Kendall Martinet gets the board and cleans it up. She would finish with 11 points and 12 boards. A few minutes later, it's Tompkins up top. She drives left, muscles her way inside, and you can count that baby in a foul. She led all Wildcats with 12 points, but the NMU ladies would fall to Malone, 75-64 in the final score. The men played right after. It was Bill Saul and his boys taking on the Cavaliers. Walsh looking to jump out to a quick start, and Chow Montgomery says, I can help. Difficult shot off the glass, and the Cavs take a 5-0 lead early on. Wildcats looking for their first bucket of the night. Off the mitts, it's Terry Nash with the rebound and the putback to give NMU their first points in this one. Next possession for the Cats, it's Jordan Perez to the rim. His shot doesn't go, but Alex Muster is there to clean up the mess. But NMU is still down three early on, but not for long. Check out Naba Eccles with the sick move there, right to left on the finish for the freshman point guard as the Wildcats take a 10-7 lead. Walsh would take a one-point lead a few minutes later, but then the big man, Kenny Williams, works the post like a boss and gets the hook shot to go. NMU battled valiantly, but the Cavaliers would take this one in the end, 80-60, to the final score. Michigan Tech had better luck tonight as the Lady Huskies knocked off Malone, 80-55. to Morgan Anderson was on fire tonight from the outside as she tied a school record with eight three-pointers as part of a career-high 26 points. The men were also successful in the GLIAC opener, beating Malone 86-72. Brian Heath led the way for the Huskies with 22 points. Some girls' high school basketball scores to report as Barriga defeated Ewan Trout Creek 49-24, and it went down to the wire, but Lakeland and Hubble got the best of Lance 46-45, the final in that one. The Lakes' Peyton Gast led the way with 16 points in the win. 